Good morrow, my lovely little ghosts, and welcome to the Dark Orchard. I'm Lara, and this is a nail video. As was said in my intro, this is a nail video. More specifically, I'm going to have my cats pick my nail polish. This video is inspired by a video that Simply Nail Logical did in July of 2018. So I'm a little late to that party, but it's okay. But that's okay, because now I have three cats. And my plan is to have them choose at least three things. So hopefully, I can get one of each cat to choose at least one thing. Here's hoping. <laughs> I predict that Phoenix and... I predict that Phoenix and Bruce will 100% play along. Grayson... I don't know, but we'll see. Before I get started, I am going to dedicate this entire video to Simply Neological because Christine is one of the most genuine, smart people I've ever seen on this platform. Even though currently she's taking a break, she's still such a strong businesswoman and, and I just, I simply look up to her in a lot of different ways because she's, she's smart. She loves animals, she does good for others, and she's very humble and very appreciative of the things that she has. And I've, I really admire that. And I admire that she uses YouTube as a creative outlet because that's what I love to do. I love to share my art and my work and my opinions with you ghosts, and I hope that you, in turn, enjoy watching my videos. So, this video, because it is inspired by one of her videos, is also devoted to Simply Nail Logical. What my plan is, is to lay my nail polish out and see if one of the cats will choose a nail polish. If that does not work, I have treats. And I will put a treat by each nail polish and see which one they go to first. If that doesn't work, I'm just gonna stick them in front of their face and see if they touch one of them. So first, I'm gonna have them pick one color. This color is gonna be what's on nine of my 10 fingers. So I chose a variety I picked from my wall back here, and I just chose a random variety. I chose Playful Purple by Pure Ice. I also chose Gravity by LA Colors. And then I chose the Sally Henson Molten Mauve. So let's cut to the footage of my cats choosing my nail polish. To begin with, Bruce seemed very eager to pick a nail polish, and Grayson even seemed interested. However, this went on for some time of Bruce just looking up at me and wondering what he was supposed to do. So I decided to lay down some snacks and see if that would coax him into actually picking a polish. Bruce typically loves snacks, but for some reason, even after I laid these snacks down, he did not go for it. I just sat there waiting patiently, and Bruce sat waiting patiently, never once ate a snack. That's when Phoenix decided he was going to jump down and choose the polish for me. Phoenix? Phoenix? <gasps> we got pink! <laughs> Next, I'm going to have them choose my control finger. That would be my ring finger. The one finger that I have control over... Well... The one finger that I usually have control over, if nothing else. But this time, my cats have control over it. So the colors that I chose were... Lucky Charming by Pure Ice. I chose Queen of the Evening by Broadway Nails. And then I chose my Black Heart Black that I got from Hot Topic that I absolutely love but forget the name of because it's been rubbed off. So let's cut away to that and see which one the cats pick. So for this I gave Grayson another try. I tried to coax him into picking a polish and he just wasn't having it. He didn't want anything to do with picking a nail polish, but Phoenix sure did. So I put the polishes on the floor and had Phoenix pick a polish. For this one, I just went by the one that he spent the most time on, and that was the silver. Next, they are choosing a topper. And because this is a Simply Nail Logical dedicated video, of course I threw in a holographic top coat. My holographic top coat is Dr. Chunky Silver by Blackheart. I also chose Diamonds by Sally Henson. This is a very pearlescent topper and it's actually my favorite. Then I also chose a gold glitter topper by LA Nails. I wonder which topper they actually picked. Okay, for this one, I just really, really, really wanted 
Bruce to be the one to pick it. It looks like he chose the holographic. However, I wasn't positive because he sniffed the others. So I tried to redo it. I repositioned them once he laid down and tried to see if he'd pick it again. He was all of a sudden uninterested once I laid snacks down. I tried my best to coax him into it. I moved it closer to him to no avail. But then Phoenix decided he would make the final decision and also chose the holographic nail polish. It's like they knew I was making a video based on a Simply Nail Logical video. So then I decided that wasn't enough, that they hadn't chosen enough things and my nails were gonna be too plain. So I decided to possibly do stamping. And I'm at least gonna stamp on one finger just to see how it looks, but I had my cats choose a stamping polish. These are Maniology stamping polishes, all three of them. So the first is their straight up black. Next is Shangri-La, I believe that's how you say it. And it's sort of a bluish gray color. And the last is just a silver and it's Python. Roll that beautiful cat footage. This one happened really super quick. Phoenix chose the silver instantly. Silver. Then lastly, I had them choose from stamping plates. I had them choose between M0464 which is the Edgar Allan Poe and Dracula stamp pad. Then MXM016, which is the witchy palette from the Hocus Pocus collection that I still haven't cleaned. Oops. And then MXM18, which is actually one of the newer stamping plates that I have, and I've never used it. I'd really love to use this one because it's got like little snake emblems and snake print and alligator print super cute so that would be nice let's see which stamping plate they picked i wasn't about to let grayson off the hook so i had him pick my stamping plate i just went by which one he brushed up against which was the witch stamping plate i did not expect my sweet angels to be nail polish geniuses the collection that they picked was just perfect. Perfect. You see how cohesive this is? It's gorgeous. I could never have picked this cute of a collection. Ever. Like, they're smart. <laughs> so now that the polishes are picked, I'm going to clean up my workspace. I'm going to go through the nail painting process. Before I do though, I'm going to do something a little taboo. I'm gonna go grab one of the cats, potentially Grayson because he didn't participate very much. So I'm gonna go grab Grace and I'm gonna do my outro really quick. Just do a really fast outro before I paint my nails because there's one thing that my cats don't like and that's when I try to pick them up and do the outro right after I've done my nails. So I'm gonna step away for a second, grab him, do my outro, you didn't need to know that. I could have just snuck it in and you would have been like, her nails aren't painted and that would have been the end of it. But I'm just letting you know what's actually happening. So I'm going to go get Grayson, bring him back, do the outro, and then we will cut to me doing my nails. That jump cut means that the outro is filmed. So without further delay, let's get started on that nail look. My cats have picked. I'm going to narrate this part tutorial style. So I painted nine of my nails this beautiful pink that my wonderful cats picked and I went right over the control nail and continued to paint pink on all nine fingers. Then I did a second coat because second coats are always important. Most nail polishes are not opaque in one go. However, Simply Nail Logical does sell one coat black nail polish, which is fantastic. Next, I did a coat of the silver. And it, of course, looked absolutely amazing next to that pink because my cats are geniuses. And then I did a second coat because second coats are important. Next, I chose the derpiest cat possible. It was the only cat that was on this witch stamper that my cats picked. And it took me one try to get the cat to transfer onto my finger, which made me super happy because stamping is always really hard. Finally, in true Simply No Logical fashion, I added some hollow glitter. However, I did not completely submerge the fingers in hollow glitter. I just strategically placed really chunky hollow glitter because I wanted the designs to show and I still wanted the color to show. 
So this is my finished manicure. Of course, I topped it with my favorite top coat. Sadly, not the hollow taco top coat, but my favorite top coat. And sealed it all in and made it look really pretty and glossy. So that's the nail polish that my cats picked for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you come around again soon. Say bye. Bye.